Star Wars set review. This set is a set from 2013, and it is the Mandalorian Speeder. The ages is 8 to 14, set number 75022, 211 pieces. This comes with three minifigures exclusive to the Star Wars of Clone Wars TV series, which is also now on Netflix, and a vehicle from that as well. This set does contain stickers, and we will go ahead and get started into the minifigs right now. For the first minifigure, we have the Cyborg Mall from the Star Wars Clone Wars TV series. This is from Season 5, in case you were wondering. And he has some really good detailing on his torso. And as you can see, he is also equipped with a dark saber which he got from decapitating pre -Vizsla, and his Sith Red Saber. You can also see that arm printing there. And the back printing right there. Then the same arm printing on the other arm. And then the face printing, if I can get some more zoom in. Maybe just make it focus. The face printing there, He it, this set does come with an extra spike cap there. And he also has the nice cyborg legs. Which you can see right there. And overall, Maul is a very good minifigure. And here are with the next two minifigures, which are the Mandalorian Super Commandos. These troops followed Darth Maul and his little crusade to try to conquer the galaxy. As you can see, they are both the same. And the torso printing is good. The I, I love the helmet detail. The faces are the same as the old Mandalorians from 2011. They both do come with uh, blasters. And the nice dark gray uh, arms and legs with the regular light gray belt and gloves. The nice gunmetal jetpack. And the back printing there. Really good minifigures. And again, that Mandalorian helmet there is a really cool helmet. Very Darth Maul like. And just for a nice example to show you guys is here is a Mandalorian from 2011. So you guys can kind of see that the faces. Oh, well, there is a difference. There is a difference in that guy compared to this guy. And so, yeah. So, there are the two Mandalorians to compare. And we will move on to the vehicle itself. And here we have the Mandalorian Speeder. This is a nice little small build here. It is just a nice little hovercraft. And if I were to have a vehicle to try to compare this to, it would be the nice 2015 Naboo Flash Speeder, I believe it's called. But I do not have that, sadly. Detailing on this is a very cool. Uh, one thing I would have to mention, though, is I don't remember this having a nice big a cannon during the episode but Lego always finds a way which is not a problem 
So first thing I would like to go ahead and show you guys is the sticker there and there on the control panel there and right there and right there. So if we can just go into the seating area. We have a nice little spot for a driver. I'm going to go ahead and take Mr. Mall here and put him as the driver for it has the nice two studs for pretty much any minifigure. And so Maul can sit right in there. We have two holsters back there for guns. So we're going to take the guns of the nice Mandalorian Super Commandos and put them right in those holsters where they may rest until needed. Like so. The windshield also moves up and down. And then there are two other spots where we can go ahead and take one of these Mandalorian Super Commandos and put her there. Like so. Now you want to bring it to the back before you put anything on the cannon there. This can fold out or up. And then you have two little holsters there for Darth Maul's weapons. We can go ahead and put the Darksaber there. And the light, I mean the yeah, lightsaber there. And this can just fold up, and they are nice and safe in there. The cannon can move up and down, and it can go as down as far as so you hit the pilot's head. So we'll go to the back here. You can go ahead and set your Mandalorian Super Commando right there. Whoops, right there. But sadly, he cannot hold on to the cannon. But you can pretend. In the back here, they have two little nice guiding guiders for flying. That's like a nice little engine area. Both sides. And for the feature. You see this little thing here on both sides, this block peg. This front f folds up, and there are two little firing missiles. Here is a nice look at the missiles. And they go right where the red bricks are. Right in there. Never mind. Right in there. Same with the other one. And you just, just fold that down. So it's just make a casual thing. I mean, they, they have a cannon on there. Like, just a nice casual stroll. Go boom. Then just do a surprise attack. Fun. If we turn this over, they have the nice little clear smooth pieces for it to just glide across swerve around run someone over man if I had Jar Jar just gonna glide across uh, you know just like glide just like glide across run someone over and that is the Darth Maul way. Now for the box. The box has the nice Yoda symbol there. 
it is twenty seven ninety nine at Kmart, but it ranges from twenty six to about I think twenty eight dollars, depending on where you're going to buy it. Again, the listings right there, with ages eight to fourteen, the set number, the name, and the piece count. Many figures there. Nice little design right there. If I can get a nice zoom in. Then we want to go ahead and turn to the back. There is all the stuff that I showed. It did get scratched up there. Sorry about that. A nice little comic cinematic uh, scenes there. Then with the whole spinneroo look at the speeder itself with all the features. And that is all to the box. Now for the instruction booklet. Now this is from 2013, so yes, it still has the annoying kid with the win. Anyways, if we were to go over here, there's the Lego Club the legos.com slash star wars there is a code if you want to use it i doubt it's still there though to use there is the 2013 sets corbeline's tank droid homing spider droid dual on genosis java sail barge att jex 14's uh stealth ship republic gunship mandalorian speeder three of which on this page i have dual on genosis att and now the mandalorian speeder Nice little battle of everything. This is all for and on Geonosis. The peace count. The end of the building. And 42 steps of building. Then just the pages upon pages upon pages of building. Then, they always want to tell you to organize before you build. And that is the instruction booklet. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. And remember to like, comment, subscribe. I will have my age recommendations of the set on the screen now I hope you guys have an awesome day and see you later the dark side of the force is calling you